Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you what I got for school, and it's like in my backpack and stuff, and so I'm going to show you that, and nobody has commented on any videos as of the release of this video, so please comment on this video, um, the like, colon, D thing, and um, sorry, I was just seeing if I had any water. I do not appear to have water. But, so, just comment the face because that would be awesome if you could. And then you may get mentioned in the next video if you're the first to comment. So, I packed up my backpack pretty neatly. Um, in this pocket, it's like, it has like dual pockets in it. So, I put my stationary supplies in this one, which in stationary supplies are like crayons, pencils, markers, that kind of stuff. And then I put my folders and binder in this one. And then I put all of my, um, notebooks in the tiny one in front which they all fit in. I'm very thankful for that. And I got this awesome new thing. It's called a USB port. And um, I don't know what I said that you probably know what a USB is. But I made this little tiny paper case for it. And it's a moustache. And it comes open in half, see? It's like moustache secret moustache and then bang and this is four gigs it was ten dollars or eleven dollars at office max i got all of this stuff at office max so yeah if you want my same stuff go there and there was a purple one of these but it was like four dollars extra and this is just a four gig it's all i need for school i may have said that already <laughs> And then, so I'm going to start with my stationary supplies. I have two boxes of crayons, and they are both rainbowatized. See? Because I like rainbows. And the reason I have two crayon boxes is, first of all, I really love crayons. Second of all, they were only 50 seconds. And third of all, um... I want one for me so that I can keep it organized and I'm gonna give one to other people. And then here is the other one. So I have two of those. And then, sorry, I had to move it so that like, it could be more comfy because I are all about comfort. And then here's glue, a gloop bottle. And I call it gloop but you can call it glue or gloob or whatever. And I labeled everything. Wait, did I label? Yes, I did see a label. And that's because I, first of all, I don't want anything to get lost. I even labeled stuff that I'm donating so that I can get like citizenship credit and stuff. And again, all of this at Office Max. I got these um, markers. I labeled each of them. They're the thin kind. I believe they were like $7 or $6 or something like that. Affordable enough. And then, um, so I labeled each marker. And this is a really great idea. If you have a bunch of markers and your desk isn't big enough to like put them all in flat ways or something, or you don't have a toolbox to just shove them in, just bunch them all up. Unless you love rainbows so much that you, then you could just keep the package in your backpack or whatever. Then just take the rubber band and put it twice or three times around it. I usually do it twice. And so it's like a little bunch. And then I have these awesome futuristic-y looking scissors. I'm gonna like reposition. And then I have these awesome futuristic-y futuristic looking scissors. And the brand is West Westcott or microband wait it's west westcott with microband i think 
but see here it is and they're awesome scissors and they're green which is my favorite color in the whole world and then um here are wide tip markers and yes each one of them are labeled oh my scissors are not labeled i'll do that later <laughs> but here and then i just rubber band bunched them i didn't rubber band bunch my crayons because they're like small enough to keep in the package plus i want them rainbowized and i labeled each marker and then my colored pencils and yes i labeled each one except for the black one because i you can't put black sharpie on black marker and i didn't want to bother getting a different colored one and i rubber band bunched these i did a lot of rubber band bunching this year and then my favorite thing in the whole world highlighters there they all have um, my name on them and there are five of them it's green blue yellow pink and orange and I only needed like pink, yellow, and green, but I was like, I don't care. I don't care. I love it. I love it. But, um, and then I rubber band bunched these. And then I got these adorable three by five note cards. And then it's not, they're not all green. It's just the front one or yeah, just the front one, and they have lines on them, and then they have this little thingy where, like, if you're, it has this little thingy here, I think, I forgot that what that's called, and then, so if you're, like, saying a speech, you can be like, blah, 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 and then instead of, like, dropping your card or something, just flip it, and then more, blah, 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 and then, um, you put, the, I like the green one, and then on the back it has green mustaches. And then you take this little awesome mustache band thingy, and then it holds your cards in place. So yeah. And then my glube stick, which is awesome. It's the jumbo -y kind. And um, here, close upness on that. And then, like, yeah. And this is fifth grade school stuff, so if you're in a different grade, you're probably going to need different stuff. And then um, I have this awesome um, X-Acto pencil sharpener. And look at the top. Wubba, wubba, wubba. Or wubba, wubba. So that, like, I'm sharpening my pencil, sharpening, sharpening. And then um, I don't want any of the grinds to come out, so I just close it easy or like yeah and it's green and then I have this awesome pink pearl eraser I got like this tub of erasers but those are for home so they're not in this video but I have this awesome pink pearl I have an eraser sleeve I tried to put my name on it it didn't work <laughs> um, I put I got one of these and I just put MJ on it, and then I just put MJ on my white pearl eraser because I didn't want to ruin it. It's the white kind. They're better. And again, all of this at Office Max. And then I have a one and a half inch binder here. I drew on the back of the little thingy they put in the front because I wanted to make it my own. So I put MJ Lundberg at the top of my life. And then a little bit of a summary about me, but there's so much more to my life that I couldn't fit it all on one page. And then this is the kind where it doesn't just like lay out flat. I mean, like it could, but it actually folds back too. So unless you're like writing on it, but like, I guess you could. And then I have eight page dividers and um, the, First one is red. I have eight page dividers and five folders, I think. But they don't really fold in the back too well, so you just kind of let them flap. Oh, and the awesome thing about these page dividers, they're almost like folders, but not quite. So, like, you can just stick something saying, like, math or reading or whatever instead of writing on your page divider and then just, like, reuse it every year. Open. <laughs> 
And then here's my first folder. It's rainbowy zebra-y, and it's like really sparkly. And it's textured and stuff. Close up. And then that's that. And then on the inside, it looks like this. It's like gray, silverish sparklies. Yeah. It, maybe this is better. Wait, no. Oh, this folds flat? What? I'm discovering new things. Oh, it still doesn't go. Whatever. And then I have an, like, a salmon kind of color one. And then I have this butterfly folder. My mom got a butterfly binder for herself, so we're, like, matchy-matchy. And then it looks like this on the inside. And then I have an orange um, page divider. And then an adorable pop-pop one. That, what? Where, where's my name? What? Oh, it's on the forehead. I just can't, like, decipher. And then it's a Labrador. It's a chalk, or it's a brown lab. And then on the back, it looks so adorable. Look at Puppy in your face. Puppy face in your face. And then I have a yellow page divider. And then I have this adorable, like, I don't know what kind of dog it is, but it's adorable. And then... The second one, er, and it um, it looks like this on the inside with the pup pup, and then it has this. It has like a close up in the back, and then it has, and then a dark green page divider, which is my favorite, and a another pup pup, and it looks like this on the inside. And then it has this little, like, blue thing, or blue page divider. And then a peacock one that looks like this on the inside. And then a purple one, or a dark blue one, or a dark blue page divider. And then a purple page divider. And I'm going to split the video here because I don't want it to be forever. And if you're bored, you can, like, sign off now. So, bye! Peace, love, watch the next part.